Today I will show you how I built a Bluetooth based relay control system using the ESP32 S3 and my own custom Android application designed and programmed in Android Studio. And trust me, it's faster and more reliable than you think. This is my third video on the Emirates 128 inch dual set timer switch relay from Makerfabes. In my last video, I showed you how to turn the Emirates 128 inch dual set timer switch relay into a smart home controller using the ESP32 S3 and Blink IoT application. The best part was the real time synchronization, whether you switched a load on or off from the display or from the Blink application, both interfaces updated instantly. Plus, I made the system reliable enough to work online and offline. So even if Wi-Fi dropped, the touchscreen UI still worked smoothly. This project gives us complete remote appliance control, smart automation, and a polished user interface. Perfect for anyone interested in home automation, IoT projects, and ESP32 smart switches. And for the hardware overview and software setups, watch part one. Anyway, I like this kit so much that I decided to make my own custom Android application for it. I kept the application very simple, no fancy images on the buttons. So even beginners can easily make changes and customize it in their own way. And yes, I built this application in Android Studio. The full project folder is available on my Patreon page. I have added the download link in the description below. Before starting the practical demonstration, there are a few important things I want to share with you. As you can see right now, the kit is powered on, but the display is completely blank. That's because this time I didn't use the display at all. I also ignored the encoder and the button. I'm pretending as if this board doesn't even have a display, encoder or button. I'm only using the ESP32 S3 and the relay board. The benefit of this is simple. The code I share with you will work on any ESP32 board without changes. And later, if you want more features, you can easily add them according to your needs. So you can think of today's project as a template project for building Bluetooth based projects. It's not that we won't use the display encoder or button. We definitely will. In my next video, I will use the same kit to build a smartphone based complete control system for a bike. In that project, we will use the display encoder and button to accept or reject calls and even control the bike's engine so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that video anyway let's begin with the practical demonstration i have already paired the mobile application just like we normally pair apps with any bluetooth supported device at the top you can see this bluetooth switch i added it just as an example you can rename it later and use it for any other purpose or you can keep it as a connect and disconnect switch for Bluetooth. To control the four relays, I have added these four buttons. Of course, you can increase or decrease the number of buttons according to your own needs. And finally, the scan and connect buttons are very simple. Their function is clear from their names. And in this area, acknowledgement messages will be displayed like when a relay turns on or off. This way, we know for sure whether the command we sent was successfully executed or not. This feature is very useful in situations where the device is not in front of us. For example, if we are in the bathroom and want to turn the water pump on or off. Here, if you want, you can also display sensor values. Now, let's control all four relays. As you can see, the moment I press the relay one button, the relay turned on and at the same time I received the feedback message relay one on. Let me turn it off and this time I instantly received the feedback message relay one off. Now let me show you how fast the system actually is. It's extremely fast and responsive. So now let's move on and take a look at the programming. Don't get scared by looking at the code. All of the files you see here are not even used in this project. As I already mentioned, we are only using the Bluetooth and a few GPIO pins. These extra files were generated from SquareLine Studio and my previous project. If you want, you can delete all of them except the main.ino file. I'm not deleting them because later if you want to use this project with a user interface, these files will already be there to make things easier for you. In fact, I'll be modifying the same project in my next video where I will build a bike control system with full smartphone integration. 
I already explained the uploading method in part 1, so I won't repeat it here. The complete source code of this project is available on my Patreon page. I have added a link in the description below. So, that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.